Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I need to burp now. Why is this happening to me? Hang on. Okay, we're alright. So today I have a whole video of things that I have accumulated over the last like three weeks or so. I've tried to film this video like friggin 500 times and if it's not the card formatting, it's the battery running out or something. So, I saw a girl who did film a haul video about a week or so ago and um, of a few things that I purchased but something went wrong with the video when I was editing and I lost it so I'm refilming now with a bunch more stuff so this is like a collective haul of things that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks okay so I'm gonna get started firstly with the beauty related items first and as I said these are just things that I've accumulated over the last couple of weeks so some things I've tried some things I haven't tried so I can kind of give like a mini review almost which is really cool the first thing I picked up was this Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Sassy and Striking Mamba version. Look at the packaging. Like, can we just take a minute? I absolutely love this um, packaging of this. I just think it's so cute. I like the smell of it. It kind of has, like, a really nice fragrance to it. Like, some of the other ones are fragranced as well, but I feel like this one has a really nice kind of perfumey scent. May not be for everyone. I personally like it. Basically, just got it for the packaging, not gonna lie. Next thing I picked up was a new fake tan, and this is the Mind Tan One Hour Express Tan in the Dark Ashed Base Color. Let me just tell you something. I used to use Bondi Sands. I used them for a really, really long time, and um, I liked them for a while, but I started to realize that they weren't really working for me very well. The colour just wasn't making me look tanned. Like some people would use it and they'd look like they just come out of the Brazilian sun and I'd look like I just used like a gradual tanner for five minutes. I was like, no bish, that ain't gonna do. So I needed to pick up a new fake tan. I got this one because I'd heard a few things about it. There are three different colours of this fake tan. There's a purple one, a green based one and an ash based one. I heard the other two are kind of crap, so I was like, I'm going to get the ash tape based one. I've used it a couple times, or once actually. I do really, really like it. I think it's a lot darker than the Bondi Sands. It's not too dark, like this is meant to be three hours developing. Like, do I look like that? I'd be a different race. That is African. Hello? Like, not everyone's going to look African. That is not me. And thank God, because that would be, I would look like a completely different person. I do like it. Um, I feel as though it lasts a lot longer. I used some on my face the other day, and normally it only lasts me like a day after I've cleansed and everything, but it lasted me a lot longer on my face, and I really do like it. It's a little more expensive than Bondi Sands, which is a bit of a downer. I think it's $30, so Bondi Sands is around the $20 mark, and San Tropez Cheap is dearer than this, so um, this is kind of in the middle range but I do like it I do prefer it to Bondi Sands Bondi Sands just aren't working for me anymore like fix yourself because I need to be tanned and you're just not doing it let me know if there are any fake tans that you recommend that I use because I really really do like trying out new fake tans I've tried San Tropez Bondi Sands and the Mind Tan so let me know if there's any other ones that you think are that would suit uh, me if I want to be really tanned I don't know maybe I just need spray tan because for some reason or other my skin just doesn't like holding color so that's cool because that's the only thing I want out of life is to be tanned and the one thing I want I can't get so fuck you skin. Next thing I picked up was an illuminator. This is the Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Illuminator. This is basically like a cream highlighter. You can use it on uh, underneath your foundation. You can also use it on top of your foundation as a highlighter. I really like it. It's more pearl based so it's not any like pink or anything like that. I use this with a stippling brush underneath my foundation and it gives it a really nice dewy glow. So I really like it and look how much product there is. Like that is going to last me until I'm 80. Kind of similar to the L'Oreal Lumi Magique uh, Primer as well which I liked that. So that is that one. Next thing I picked up recently was a foundation, and I've used this foundation before. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in the shade 825. Um, this is too light for me, but I do mix it with another foundation. I only got this colour because there's like four colours that you can choose from at my price line store in this foundation, and the darkest one is too orange, so it's like, what do you want me to do? Have to get this one. I love this foundation, but for some reason or other, this isn't the foundation that I used to love. I don't know where it's gone. This is like its ugly twin sister. I don't know where the other one is, but I don't like it. I don't know. This just doesn't sit well on my skin anymore. It doesn't blend in well. I don't know whether it's because I haven't used it in a while. I just do not like it. Uh, I think I got a faulty one because the pump on this doesn't pump out the product well enough. So I think I might have got a faulty one. So fuck you, cover girls. Stop making faulty foundations. 
I liked this foundation before, but now I'm sort of getting on to not liking it. I'm going to go back to Maybelline. So you're lost. Next thing I picked up were two lip liners. One of them I'm wearing on my lips right now, so I'll talk about that one first. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry number 05. I really, really like this. I've swatched these on my hands before because, as I said, I've already tried to film this. So that is it right there. Um, I really, really like this lip liner. It's very creamy, very, very opaque. It's only $2, which is super cheap. I think I heard Casey Holmes talking about this lip liner, which is why I got it. It's a really nice kind of vampy color, and it's more on the purple side than pink, which I like, but a really, really good quality lip liners. So I've got two of these already. And then the other one, I'm going to marry, actually, this weekend, so he's going to be my bridesmaid. This is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Liner in 063 East End Snob. I think I've heard about this a few times. I think it's actually quite a popular lip liner, but... Let me just show you. Brace yourself because, honestly, it doesn't even do it justice. I love it so much. It, I, I don't want to say it's a Kylie Jenner lip, but I always feel like these, I just haven't gotten over that yet. It's like more of a dusty, pinky, rose color, not so much of a, a mauve nude, but I love it so much. I love lip liners more than lipsticks or lip glosses because I feel like they just define my lips a lot more. I feel like they make my lips look bigger, they make, they make them look more defined, and I just love them. They last longer than lipsticks. I love lip liners, I could live off them, um, but this colour is just something else. This is my everyday lip colour, I just love it. Even if I was barely wearing any other makeup, I would go with this lip liner, it is amazing. Only thing I don't like about it is because it's retractable, I feel like it's getting hot in my makeup um, storage thing, and it's breaking every time I like use it. Um, so I'm not getting my money out of it, but I really, really like it. So if any of you guys know of a color that is that similar like that, but maybe not retractable, like more of a pencil kind of type, let me know. The next thing is the Astralis AC on Tula Contour Kit. Finally got my hands on it. Absolutely obsessed with this. Um, funny thing is I actually ordered this online. So I paid an extra like $5 for shipping and then I actually found it in stores because everyone was sort of talking about how hard it was to get a hold of wasn't in my price on store because my price on store shit, um, like seriously, vomit. But I got it from another price on store like 45 minutes away and they had like 150,000 of them. So I ordered this one online when I could have just bought it in store, but that doesn't matter. It came within a few days and I love it. The packaging is kind of cheap, but I like the pink on the front, but it is kind of plasticky. This is meant to be like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, as most of you probably know. It comes with six different colors, so it comes with three highlights and three contour colors. I've used it today for the first time and I love it. This one here, which is more of like a pinky beige color, I love to set this on areas where I don't want a lot of shimmer, where I get oily, like my nose and my chin. It's also really good as an all over lid color before you apply eyeshadow. This yellow one is like a banana powder, so I use this underneath my eyes to set my concealer. This one's like a pinky kind of peach color, so I use this as a highlighter, and I actually prefer it to MAC Soft and Gentle because it's not as chunky glitter. This one I use to bronze my face, like my temples and so forth, because it's not so brown orange. This one is a cool tone brown, which I use to contour, which I love. I've never had like a cool tone bronzy color before, which is like weird because that's usually what you should contour with, like more of a taupey color. So I use that for that. And then this really warm orange one, I think is a bit too orange to bronze my face up with. So I'd use this for like in the crease. So I love how I'm getting my use out of this and I absolutely love it. These colors are really, really pigmented. Like you actually need to kind of be careful and they're just absolutely amazing. And then on the back, it has a list of little things that you can do if you're not familiar with how to contour or anything. I really, really like this and I definitely recommend you pick it up. It is a lot cheaper than the Anastasia one and I feel like it does the same thing because I have seen swatches online and a lot of people have said this is very similar. So Australis, um, hello, you're doing great. Thumbs up for you. Well done, you. Blushes that I have on right now, I'm not going to go up too close because I can tell that they're sort of coming off now uh, because, uh, you know me, I'm just not really that great at applying eyelashes. But I do like these, I just don't love them as much as the ones that I'm wearing right now. But the ones I'm wearing right now are also from Kmart and they don't have a style. These ones are in the style Victoria, these ones don't have a style. The last two makeup products, so or beauty products, the first one is a perfume. I'm not a real like perfume person, I don't really buy perfumes very often, but when I do, it has to be like a good one. So this is Beyonce's um, Wild Orchid perfume. really like the bottle, I don't know what it smells like. 
I'm gonna be honest with you. It smells sweet and and kind of like flowers. I don't know what orchids smell like, but if it was an orchid, it's probably this because it's called wild orchid. So why wouldn't it smell like orchids? I don't know. It just smells nice. I really like her. I just I really like her and I like her perfumes and I like everything about her and I just want to be her, so thanks. And the last product that I got was a Joico hair mask and this is the Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for Damaged Hair. Now, um, my hair is a little bit dry at the moment because I've just been dyeing it quite a lot over the last couple of months, but I really like this hair dye, or hair dye? hair mask. I've had this hair mask before when I was blonde and it really really helped to get my hair back to a better kind of state. Um, so I love it. I, I thought I could only buy this from a hair salon but then when I found out I could buy it from stores I was like yes because I've recently got Joico out at my Priceline store. So yeah it's a deep penetrating reconstructor. It's an award winning intensive mask which is great. It's, if it's an award winning like of course it's going to be good but I really really like it. I definitely recommend that you try this out if you're after a really really intense mask to just Bring your hair back to life. I want my hair to be back to life as much as possible so that it can grow back to being long again because God knows, <laughs> you all know I am not a fan of this short hair. Okay, so now I'll move on to the fashion items. So I have quite a few clothing bits here. So these two things are from Kmart. I have there, I have already showed one of these things in a video before. But the first thing that I got was this sports bra and it's like a neon pink sports bra. And I just actually got this for like sitting around the house not gonna lie and like editing videos because I don't exercise and I feel like if I wear a sports bra um, it makes me look really fit and athletic so a little tip if you're not into exercising go buy a sports bra this was literally two dollars at Kmart and I just feel really really fit in it but I'm not little trick there and the last thing that I got was a beanie which I've already mentioned in the video and so many of you guys have complimented me on this beanie let me put it on now because I'm over my hair so many of you guys have complimented me on wearing this beanie with my black hair and I will say I really really like the beanie I will be honest with you um, there's just something about wearing a beanie that I really like I wish I could wear it all the time but I feel like you guys would get bored of, of seeing me with a beanie but let me know. Beanies aren't something that I wear very often um, or ever actually. I've never worn a beanie but a lot of you guys have complimented me on it and I just feel really edgy with this beanie on and I don't have to worry about my hair in the front looking weird which it always does. I'm going to keep this on actually because I've, I know my hair is looking shit without it so I'm going to keep this beanie on but I just really like it personally. Okay, so next on to some more clothing items. So I recently purchased some stuff from boohoo.com and I just bought three things. Um, one of the things I'm not a huge fan of and the other two I quite like. So I'll start off firstly with what I'm wearing. This crop top here um, is what I'm wearing right now. I really, really like it. I actually just got it to film videos in, no joke because I see everyone wearing these sorts of crop tops and I was like, I want one of those. Luckily I have another one that's longer that I can wear out because I am into showing like my belly button when I'm out in public. It's very nice material, it feels very nice. This is the thing I don't really love that much. Um, I liked it on the model, but on me I don't really like it. It looks like this, it's quite short and I just don't really like how high the neckline goes up. Uh, like I like this, but I don't really like this. I will probably wear this with a belt because if I don't, it looks like I'm fat. And then the next thing that I got from Boohoo was a dress and I actually really, really like this dress. And this is just a black maxi dress, but if I can get it actually working, because it's one of those things that, you know, you take like half an hour to get into. It has like um, this at the front, you know what I'm saying? It just has like this detailed little string thing at the front. So instead of just being a maxi dress, it has that on and I really like that. I must have a thing with black these days because I'm, I'm wearing a lot of black, black hair, dark lips, black shirt. I'm not goth, I promise. I'm just really trendy. And I just like the front of it because sometimes with maxi dresses they can look a little plain. So I like that I don't really have to do much with this because I'm not really very fashionable and I don't know a lot about clothes. So um, it's good that I don't have to worry about mixing, matching, layering, adding statement pieces, all that shebang that I just don't know about. And then the last three clothing items I got were from Cotton On. And I'm normally not a fan of Cotton On, but I really like them lately because they have a lot of like very plain simple things but things that you can kind of add to so this is the top that I was talking about that I can wear out so this is pretty much very similar to this one apart from it's long and it's sheer so I just wear like a bandeau top underneath it and it kind of is longer at the bottom and um, yeah I really like it. it was really cheap I love these high neck things at the moment they're like what my thing is 
So that was that. And then the last two tops from Cotton On, once again, are still really, really um, simple. They're these long, like, tops like this. I like these tops that have like the lower neck because I feel as though they're very flattening on the cleavage area, on the gestible region. So um, this one's a white one and I like these because you can pair them with shorts, you can pair them with jeans, you can pair them with a skirt and make it look like a dress and I really like it. It's a little too hot at the moment to be wearing these but it is cooling down. So that one's a white one and then I also got a grey one as well and I just think that these are very, very flattering. Um, and I like them, they're very tight. And then the last clothing, or not clothing item, but fashion item that I got was an actual pair of, how do you say this, Havanas? Hava Havianas? I'm gonna say Havanas, I think they're Havanas. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. They're basically just thongs or flip-flops if you're in America. And um, I know it's kind of random, but I've never owned a pair of Havanas before, like ever in my life, and I feel like I'm not an Australian unless I own a pair of Havanas. I'm usually more of a fan of sandals or flats or is that sandals like you know detailed like nice sandals I don't really ever wear thongs but I actually really really like these I feel like they're very stylish with the little Havana logo so I really like these they're a size 37 to 38 in UK or European sizes and um they fit perfectly, they're really comfy, and lately I just haven't had a lot of really nice sandals, like I've just been, I don't know, I haven't felt like I've really liked them, so I just wanted to get a nice pair of Havanas that I can just pair with jeans or with skirts or with shorts or basically anything, and they're gonna look really nice and sleek. But yeah, I know like thongs aren't always like the most trendiest thing, but I mean, these are trendy, these are sleek, because they're Havanas, they're not just random black thongs, they're Havanas, and the little silver detail thing makes it look really nice, so. We walk around town with a vendors on. <laughs> That's basically it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you'd like me to go into detail about any of these products. I probably will in a, in a favorites video when I try some things out more. I'll mention them in my March favorites because I'll definitely be doing that this month. Would you guys get bored of seeing this beanie all the time or do you like it and you think it suits me and you want me to wear it? Because I tell you now, I friggin love it. And then I don't even have to put foundation on my forehead because it'll cover it like hacks. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment. Oh, and by the way, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, just going a little ramble. I think I've ever mentioned this, um, but I just want to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I've hit over that now, but I don't think I ever um, con like congratulated you guys. I don't think I ever um, ap apologized. Whoa, what is going on with me? I don't think I've ever, what's the word? I can't think of a word. <laughs> what's the word? Thanks. I don't think I've ever thanked you guys for 3,000 subscribers, so I just wanted to say thank you for that. Thanks all for commenting on my vlog, saying that you liked the black hair. I really do think I like the black hair. The only person that has said that they, they liked my hair before with lighter was my nan. Not my grandma who turned 101, my nan said she liked lighter hair. And I was like, well, Vish, you know nothing because you are 70. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye. Oh, I have a new favourite song. I should mention that in my video, in my favourites video, but I'll mention it now. I don't know lyrics, I don't know lyrics, I don't know lyrics, I don't know lyrics, I just pretend like I'm black.